in October 2012, I was in a car accident. Um, I had uh, injury to my back, lower back pain. Um, I was treated for it and wasn't successful. But I had lots of leg numbness, um, foot numbness, foot drop, um, extremely bad back pain that I was taking uh, while I was at work, at least Tylenol every three to four hours, and then uh, Tremadol um, that I received from my primary uh, around the clock trying to deal with the pain. Before, uh, actually a week before surgery, the pain was at a 10. I, I came home from work. I managed to get into my apartment. I crawled into bed and I was in tears. Um, I had to call my mother, my 77 year old mother, because that's how bad the pain was. And they tried to convince me to go to the emergency room, but I knew I was had planned a surgery and it didn't make any sense to go to the emergency room. But the pain, it was, it was just a 10. Um, I, again, I had Tremadol in the house. My daughter is a nurse, so she gave me two tabs of the Tremadol with a Tylenol, just enough so I can just rest to get through the night. Um, I am a manager at um, cancer center here in New Jersey so I couldn't exhibit my pain because I, I manage a staff of six people so I, I needed to function so I would take the Tylenol just so I could function through the day um, they all knew when I was when I was in pain because I would be very still and quiet um, but walking they all noticed the gate in my walk um, you know my walking was was very very bad and I would try to get up and walk to hopefully alleviate some of the pain but I would just just try to just pers persevere through it but it, it was pretty bad procedure. Oh, the smile on my face um, I had my procedure last Wednesday July 15th um, immediately after I woke up there was no numbness on the right side of the leg. There was just a minor tingling on my big toe and when I saw Dr. K, he said, you know, that would go away. It, uh, it did, it did go away. Um, the worst part of the surgery was the ride home. Uh, my daughter brought her uh, sports car so it would be easier for me to get in instead of her truck. And actually being a little low and over the bumps, that was the worst part um, of my pain. Uh, we got home, she had a little problem with the pain medication, we got that resolved. I took the pain medication Thursday, um, and actually while I was in the hospital, I refused pain medication because that's how good I felt. They gave me the, the, um, the dilaudid, um, then they wanted to give me oral Percocet, which I'm not a fan of, but I refused, and I, and I was fine, and I was fine with it. Let's see, before I had Tremadol, which I had received from another doctor and then from my uh, primary. Um, prior to this, in 2013, I was also diagnosed with cancer, which I am cured, but I had oral medications left over from that. So when the pain was bad, I would, you know, take a Percocet, you know, just to try to alleviate some of the pain and just get some sleep, you know, through the night. Uh, again, Tylenol was my best friend. I, I can't really take a lot of um, NSAIDs um, because of my stomach, but ty I, would, I would take at least a dose of Tylenol for me would be three at a time. Um, nothing. I, my last dose of pain medication was Saturday at 2 p.m. Yes, I would recommend. I actually uh, recommended Atlantic Spine Center and Dr. K to a co-worker who has problems with uh, spinal issues in her cervical and her neck area. She's had injections, and I told her about the MRI review um, to make an appointment. She, we, I work in New Brunswick. She lives in that area, and I told her about the Edison office and to call. Suffer. Um, a 
everything. That was the biggest problem with me. I because I was involved in a car car accident, and I didn't want to get into legal issues and um, a, a lot of rumor really wasn't about the car accident. It was just about my wellness and my health. And I explained that to Dr. K when I first saw him. It, this was unrelated to the car accident. I just wanted to get better. I wanted my quality of life back. I had a new grandson. I wanted to be able to play with him. Um, I've been with my company for 23 years. I plan to retire early, uh, and I want to enjoy my life. And and I voiced all of that to Dr. K when I first saw them, and he was very receptive uh, of my concerns. He saw my pain. He also discussed with me that an injection might might not work, and I was insistent on trying that first because I was did not want to have surgery. But as I saw Dr. K today, I wish I would have done this six months ago. Mm -hmm.